Hello and welcome everybody. I, it's Mary Shores here and I am coming live with you for with you for you with uh, Cheryl. Say hello, Cheryl. Hi everyone. Cheryl and I are using our new Zoom platform today, which is so exciting because we get to be in a Zoom webinar, but also broadcast live on Facebook at the same time. How wild is that? All right, I have a huge announcement for everyone. And the huge announcement is that we are opening enrollment today for the pre-party podcast pop-up group. It is so exciting. So if you want to be a part of this pop-up group, let me explain to you how it works. A pop-up group is a temporary Facebook group. So what we're going to do is we've already created the we've already created the group, we've already created the link. You can join us in the pop-up group and it's going to be only live for about 30 days. So we're actually going to take this down after our launch period, which is going to be from March 10th to April 10th. So we're going to let you guys in early so you can see all the fun behind the scenes stuff. And then what that means also is it'll give you an opportunity that if you want to purchase the podcast course, you can actually do that at a discounted rate of $97 because on March 10th, when we officially launch the course, it will be $130. Seven. So we're super excited. We hope to see you all in the pre-party podcast pop-up group, and we're going to have loads of fun in there. Cheryl, you have anything to uh, talk about today, like maybe our, our online course we just filmed? Yeah, I, I was going to say, we are actually just, um, both of us are buzzing with energy at the moment because we just recorded um, our course, um, and we had some of our alumni on watching us film it. That was a little behind-the-scenes sneak peek VIP treatment that they got. So when you do sign up for workshops and courses with us, there are, are all kinds of surprises along the way. But we recorded the course, and it is absolutely packed full of value. If I was an aspiring author or a, an emerging leader, influencer, light worker, and this was $97, I would go for it in a heartbeat. And actually, Mary has really inspired me to get on even more podcasts because it's not been a tactic that I've been using media-wise and Mary's really inspired me. So um, why don't you join us for that? Um, I'm using a lot of the tips that, that Mary's teaching and I do this for a living. So there's really, really good information then i'd really really encourage you to join us for that do you know that traffic to podcasts has something like doubled from 2016 over to 2017 and there are actually 67 million listeners to podcast shows per month listen to this number 67 million listeners there are 43 million weekly listeners Okay, there are tens of thousands of different shows that you can go on. But how do you go from like wanting to be on a show to actually being on a show? And that's what we teach you in the featured and fabulous podcast, online podcast class, your five phase formula to booking yourself on a podcast. Now, of course, we've got all kinds of free bonuses here. The first one being, we want to invite you all, if you're interested in podcasting on any level, please join us in the pre-party podcast online pop-up group. It's a temporary group, so you've got to get in, get your information, and get out. Now, I want to say, I want to say, hello, Michelle from Chicago. Nice for you to join us. One of the things that I want to say on podcast is that being on podcast has absolutely changed my life. And Cheryl, I think you mentioned I had been on 120 shows, and that was actually when we started talking about this. I think I'm up to yeah. like 100 and um, 100. I'm just going to say 150 because I don't know the exact number. But let me tell you something. Being on a podcast is exactly what made my book hit number one bestseller in three categories. As a matter of fact, the day that I hit number one, the first time, I actually was on a show that day. It was a live show out of Vegas called The Chris Voss Show. And Chris announced to his listeners, he said, hey, he has, listen to this, he has 150,000 listeners. He announced that, hey, Mary's book is at number three, let's make it go number one. And by the end of that hour, my book was number one on Amazon. Like it's a feeling I can't even explain to you. 
Another thing is when you go on a podcast, you're going to increase your audience because more people listen to podcasts than they do read newsletters. People are not opening emails anymore. And podcasting is a way to get your message out to people who would have never, ever in a million years had an opportunity to hear of you in any way whatsoever. So please, um, if you're interested in more, join our pre-party podcast pop-up group because Cheryl and I will be active in that group answering your questions and maybe even talking about how to get on a show. So let me just tell you some of the benefits of, if you see me clicking around, it's because I'm still getting used to like our new Zoom format, but let me just tell you some of the amazing things that have happened to me since I've started going on a podcast. Number one, my speaking ability has gone through the roof. My ability to articulate what I'm talking about has, I mean, I can give a speech now so much easier because I'm just talking about the same things over and over again. And you never have to worry about it being redundant because people don't listen to the same shows. You know, that's the interesting thing is like each show has its own audience. And you, if you're the guest, get to tap into each one of those different audiences just by being on different shows. So like, for example, um, the Bold Life Movement has a different audience than one of my favorites, Sorta Awesome. So I was on this podcast called Sorta Awesome. I've probably had a hundred people join my Facebook group just since that show aired a week ago. Another one was Happy, Happy Vibrant Women. Same thing, a hundred people joined my Facebook group overnight when that show aired. So also, I get messages sent to to me because people will have heard me on a podcast and they will be very touched by my story. So one of the things is sometimes, and Michelle and I were talking about this the other day, sometimes we're not feeling vulnerable enough to share your story. One of the things that really helped me get comfortable with telling my story and, and my history was actually being on a podcast because when you're on a podcast, it doesn't feel as intimidating as, say, being on a Facebook Live because you're really just talking to one person. So it's a lot easier to get comfortable and be vulnerable because it's, it's not intimidating at all. You're just having a conversation the same as if you were having coffee with someone. So Michelle asks, what are your favorite podcasts? Cheryl, do you have a favorite show? It's hard to pick one. Um, I like some of the big ones, like Lewis Howes, um, Jillian Michaels, uh, Tony Robbins, a lot of the, the big ones. But I also, this is interesting actually, it's an interesting question because when I want to learn about a new subject, before I start Googling it, I now start putting those search terms into um, my podcast app. I start looking for the information there. So my podcasts that I listen to are really, really varied. So I really enjoy listening to um, Moneybox, which is the BBC's financial um, podcast. I also listen to The Rights Cast, um, Publishing Profits, The Everyday Novelist. So really specific ones about business, finance, and the publishing industry as well. But like I said, podcast is really where I go to for my information now. So that's really changed the way I, I look for information. Oh, I can't hear you, Mary. I'm not sure if anyone else can. Oh, thanks. I would hit my mute when you were talking so that I wouldn't um, make noise. So my favorite show is Impact Theory, and I'm actually not even sure if that is a um, podcast or not. So are you, Cheryl, are you familiar with London Real? Yes. Okay. So I don't, is that a podcast or what is that? London Real is, no, it's an influencer. He's based in London. He used to do YouTube videos and now... Um, I don't think he said it into a podcast. So, so I have to look him up. That's um so Impact Theory is like the US version of of London Real. It's got 250 million listeners or watchers because it's an in-studio type of show. Um 
And I would say that some of my favorite shows are the ones that I've actually been on because I'd never heard of them until before that. So like, for example, yesterday I was on a show called The Aiden Project and all of a sudden from out of nowhere, we started talking about like Abraham and some old stories out of the Bible and the Torah. And he said, it's so funny you mentioned that because I just had this guest on the show who was talking about Abraham and the in the covenant. So it was like super fascinating to me. Tomorrow I'm going to be driving to Chicago and I've already decided like I'm going to listen to that episode. Also, Amy Porterfield has her own podcast that um, I'm planning on listening to more and more, but I really like, same as you, like I like Lewis Howes, I like Tom Bilyeu, uh, Tony Robbins, and I just... I love podcasts. It's just hard to, I love create your life and I love being on a pod. I tell you what, guys, it's a lot more fun being on a podcast than just listening to one. So Cheryl, what was your number one takeaway from today? Um, I think that the biggest takeaway is how important it is to personalize your pitch note, which is just an email that you send to the podcast host, but one that follows very specific conventions and we, we go into this in the course, um, but how important it is to really make it personal to each podcast. So it's not a case of sending out a template email and sending it to everyone, but actually picking out some of the things you love about that podcast and about that host and making it personal to, to each one. Um, like you said, Mary, when we were recording the course earlier on this afternoon, you said, you know, don't make the mistake of, uh, not changing someone's name and then sending it to a different podcast host. It's quite embarrassing. So it was that, that need to really put the time in and make it personal. Mary gets um, 20 out of every 60 um, podcasts that she pitches to. As a PR person, that is an exceptional ratio. So Mary is absolutely um, doing something right when she says, you know, do, do personalize each, uh, each note to them. And, you know, Cheryl, that statistic is kind of is kind of outdated. It might actually be higher now because what has yeah. happened is since I've been going on shows for about a year, I actually don't have to pitch as many because they're coming to me. So, for example, um, one. So, for example, for every show I go on, I might get two or three invitations back. Recently, I was on a show called Can I Pick Your Brain with Daniel Geffen, and Daniel and I hit it off so much that he actually agreed to do an interview for the podcast class um, featured in Fabulous, your five-phase formula to getting booked on a podcast, and um, I've gotten... Immediately, someone heard that show and contacted me and said, "I hey, I have a show called Humans 2.0, and I want you to come on the show." And I he wanted me on the show like immediately, like so we taped his show within a few days. And then also now I've gotten another invite to be on a show. I actually don't know what it's called. I can't remember, but I just talked to the guy yesterday, and so it's actually getting to the point now where they're pitching me. So instead of me pitching them, they're pitching me. And I get to be a little bit more choosy on the shows that I go on. You know, another thing that happens is you'll start to get invited to these online summits. So online summits are an interesting, oops, that was water. <laughs> online summits are an interesting, Roxanne, another book down the tube. So, cause that was, uh, that was the book for Jay Menez. Um, all right. I'm going to play with that later. So anyway, my point is that a lot of people are now doing these online summits, which is basically a free interview series where they will have 20 or 30 speakers that they do interviews with. They could be audio only, or they could be on video, but they're, they're a little harder to get on. But, um, I got an, Roxanne just posted, I actually got an invite for another summit today. I can't even remember how many invites we've gotten for online summits, but they have been wonderful and I've really, really enjoyed them. So, all right, Cheryl and I, um, we were busy taping today, so we don't want to stay on here forever. The biggest thing is we just want you to know that we've opened enrollment officially for the pre-party podcast pop-up group. So please send me a join request and I will be happy to approve it as well as 
um, we are pre-launching our online class. Now, pre-launching means that if you purchase it before we have to, before we are sinking um, ad dollars in, then we're gonna give it to you at a discounted rate of $97. So the course is $137. It is your five phase formula to booking your podcast yourself. So this is like, you know, if you just want to figure out how to do it yourself, you can book yourself on as many shows as you want if you follow this formula. There's tons of free bonuses that you're going to get, which I will tell you all about once you join the pop-up group. Um, in addition to that, we'll also be filming a free webinar about podcasts that will be super, super fun. All right. So Cheryl, you have anything to add? Yeah, I just wanted to say, you know, to anyone that's starting out and maybe feels a little intimidated by media interviews in general, podcasts are a really good way to edge yourself in because some podcasts are filmed, but most are audio only. And a lot of the time people are scared to get on camera. So actually having a podcast interview and starting off with a smaller podcast, which we teach you how to do in Featured and Fabulous, starting off with a small podcast really allows you to practice getting your feet wet with interviews and making any of the mistakes, which you will, and we have, and we do, and it's okay. That's part of the process. But start making those mistakes, start getting that experience, and ultimately start um, giving media interviews and podcasts is a great, great way to do that. Hey, Cheryl, we've got our first join request from Anthony Rowley to join hey, the podcast right. group. Isn't that awesome? awesome. I'm so excited about this pop-up group. This is a new thing that's, that's been happening. And it was Mary's idea, so full credit to Mary. Um, it's not something I've seen very much though, and I'm really excited because we all get these requests or sometimes people add you to their Facebook groups and it's very annoying. But with this, it's, it's just there for 30 days and we're gonna be focusing on giving you as much as we can, answering your questions, popping in, doing lives. Maybe we'll even coach some of you, who knows. Um, and it's only there for 30 days. So this is not like any other Facebook group that is out there at the moment. This is really dif uh, different. And I'm really, really excited to be a part of it. I know. And let me tell you something. The pop-up group doesn't actually even officially launch until the launch of the class, which means the official period for the pop-up group is March 10th to April 10th. But what, what Cheryl and I are doing is in order to give you a behind the scenes look, in other words, what behind the scenes really means, you're going to see us and everything we screw up. So oh, every yeah. little mistake that we make, you're going to see it. Um, in the pop-up group. But so between now and March 10th is just our pre-launch period. But we just decided to, if you want to be in the pre-party podcast group, go ahead. But the podcast group will be closing its doors on April the 10th. And we will have that open enrollment period for our class up until then. This gives you a chance, you know, if you want to you want to check out the content and maybe buy it during the pre-launch period, then you can get that for $97. So, you know, I guess my wrap up would just be that, I just want to say again, that um, being on a podcast has completely changed my life. And I'm specifically talking about being on a podcast as a guest, not a host. You know, so many times when I hear people talking about podcasting, they're really talking about having their own show. Whereas what I'm talking about is being a guest because I don't want to put the work into having my own show and promoting it. It's really easy for me to just sit there and all I have to do is show up at my appointed time and be interviewed. It's mm. increased my speaking skills. It has grown my connections. I have all these collaborative pro uh, projects that I get to work on. I was in, I've been invited to um, speak at retreats. I've been actually, I'm going to um, Toronto because I've been invited to speak at a writer's workshop in Toronto. And actually it's not the Hay House one, it's a different one. So, um, it's just increasing my ability to reach out to more people. And absolutely, I became a number one best-selling author only because of podcasts. I wasn't doing anything else. Podcast was the easiest thing for me to do. I didn't have to learn SEO. I didn't have to learn um, how to post on Facebook. I didn't have to learn how to, how to send out to an email list, but my network grew because I was on podcasts. All right, so we will see you all in the podcast group and 
I guess it, I don't want to say goodbye, but I think it's goodbye for now. Bye everyone. Great to speak to you. Bye. Bye. Hey, this is Mary. Thanks so much for watching. Check out a free chapter of my book, Conscious Communications at maryshores.com forward slash free chapter. The link is in the description below.